Hi everybody, welcome to the Guardian Angel Messages and Activations. We're doing one every day for 30 days. I'm really feeling the presence of the angels coming through. Um, I feel this sense of um, not just the angels in this Guardian Angel Oracle deck that want to come through. Um, so again today the angels in the orb cards want to come in as well. And I've also been guided to get another angel pack. So I feel that there is a lot, a lot of angels up there wanting to bring their support healing messages um, to everybody at the moment. So the way these um, channelings are structured is I will go through and I will take you through what each angel is about that's come into this message and um, what they're bringing and then we will connect with them bring through some light language and some messages and some healing activations um, sometimes they work one after the other and then all work together sometimes they all work together um, so this one is uh, the pink is really standing out for me. I even selected a pearlescent pink mug to drink my coffee from this morning. Um, I start off my day with stillness, um, receiving what the day is going to bring and a coffee. Um, and that's also when the guides and messages come in and I, I feel, I perceive when it's time that they're all here and they're ready. So this first one is Heheme. The dates are the September 29th to October 3rd, um, Libra zodiac sign and from the choir of the powers. The associations and qualities are strategy and planning, taking care of others, highest human achievements, behavioral science, beauty, harmony and peace, good education, courtesy and conviviality transcendence, delusion, dissolution of inner and outer violence, charisma, persuasion and compliments, extraordinary love story, divine sexuality, mysticism and spiritual quest. The next one is Kawake. Zodiac sign Virgo, September 13 to 17, the Angelic Choir of Powers. Easygoing character, overcoming difficulties, protection from discord, forgiveness and reconciliation, harmonious family relationships, trust, help and support from family, ancestral wisdom, reconnection, human and social sciences, peace and meditation, loyalty, Inheritance, distribution of assets and gifts. So we seem to have moved a lot through um, health, medical issues, sciences, um, communicating out in the world, um, connecting with others. And we, we seem to be very much now in connecting at that higher level um, clearing discord and toxicity, really harmonious relationships, um, peace in relationships, gifts and um, social sciences connecting at that higher level with um, romantic partners. Um, and I'm really seeing those two doves together like a higher template of relating in all areas of your life. Also relating with yourself um, and yet yeah, higher level of connection in romantic partnerships. And then the number one orb card has come through which is Archangel Rochiel and Sandalphon. This orb invites you to celebrate the awakening of your Earth Star Chakra, which is the rite of passage to the next step of your ascension journey. It helps you to connect deep into the Earth and up to the heavens and triggers a simultaneous opening of your Earth Star and Stellar Gateway Chakras. Your guidance is to connect to the Earth, 
and bring divine light down through your earth star chakra to the center of the earth. Open up to this energy and wisdom and send out your light through the ley lines to the pyramids. So it really feels like connecting with the higher self, the higher aspects of you, the parts of you that know what you're here for, what you're here to bring and really grounding them into the earth, making the making it available um, to you in your day-to-day -day life and to others to see and connect to and really then connecting at that higher level of connection because you are present in that. Just being reminded again, we're connecting to that unconditional love pink, um, that baby girl pink, <laughs> um, at the pink ray. Showing me doves of peace again, peace, harmony, elevation. They're showing me also the words peace and meditation and loyalty. So what I'm getting about loyalty is when you're really in your spirit, you're really in your presence and you're aligned to what's right for you, um, there's no... Um, messing about looking in other directions you're loyal to what's true to you um, because there is no desire to move away from that so they're showing me the fact that in this guardian angel pack, um, the angels don't have wings. Um, the wings are kind of implied. You might imagine they have wings, <laughs> but you can't see them. Um, and they look very solid and real um, versions of people. They're solid. They're like humans. Um, and that this is about being angelic in the physical real world, bringing your higher aspects, bringing that heaven to earth in, um, in the material world. Uh, your behavior comes from and what you attract to you comes from your inner presence so if you're in a state of peace then you're naturally protected from discord because you don't attract it this uh first one kaweke is the god of joy uh, so i'm really feeling that joy energy coming in to your physical body now if you can open your heart open the cells of your body to receive that joy and so it's saying that inheritant distribution of assets and gifts you can receive from the universe without it being equal to amount of work done um it's just your um, your, your, the universe is paying you because you are, <laughs> uh, not because you've done certain amount of work or put so many hours in. Feels like a graduation in this ascension process of moving from a place of struggle and karmic lessons into a learning through joy and a learning through um, holding a, a resonant vibration in your presence, 
in your behaviours, in your relations with others, that attracts ease, not struggle. The attract that facilitates um, ease moving forward, ease in your life, joy in your life, rather than discord, um, difficulties, misunderstandings. So there's easy understanding because there's a meeting of hearts, a meeting of souls and a meeting of minds. Okay. So with that, heheme, akatatatatata, is helping with the transcendence, the dissolution of the inner and outer voices um, and into pleasant, extraordinary interactions with others that are spiritual, that like synchronicities and God incidences that dissolve that ego, it shocks the ego because the ego can't compute it and allows the light and love in because it is just undeniably spiritual. It interrupts that ego, opens the heart. And with that extraordinary love, extraordinary sexual connection with others, mysticism and spiritual uh, quest, mission, purpose, it brings in the highest human achievements and it's naturally a win-win for others. It, 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 it helps others as well. And the practical steps of strategy and planning um, just seem to unfold in front of you. They're obvious to you. It's like they're lit up. So Heheme is the God, hope of all which ends the earth. So I'm feeling this apricot colour, which is a soft pink mixed with a lemon yellow, uh, just coming through the hands and clearing the sacral and the womb, um, ensuring that what you create in the world is, is from pleasure, from gentleness, from love, from joy, harmony, peace, holds those frequencies. Your creations hold those frequencies and these creations in whatever form they take that are specific and unique to you, whether that be mothering a child or fathering a child or whether that be looking after pets or in the medical profession or in the artistic creative fields, writing, whatever it is for you, it transforms others, elevates others with the poetry of its gentleness but effectiveness, um, its power to transform through love and joy and helps them create that in their life. And I'm seeing that same colour in the orb card in the earth. I'm seeing it in the earth. Um, so we're, we're grounding that through our earth star now. Highest human achievements, beauty, harmony, peace. Held on a wave of spiritual energy moving through you out into the world, through your crown, through your tailbone, through your base chakra, into your earth star and into the earth and there's an expansion at the back of your body. Yes, and then there's a release, like that gift is given to you. It's been received by you. The angels are stepping back. It's being received by the earth. Atatatita kakato to kuku. 
yeah that's it that's it so that is a healing activation uh, you're likely to release anything that is not those things like peace um, you might hear inner and outer violence and voices and um, anything that's not extraordinary love and not extraordinary connections. They might come up to your conscious awareness. They might come up to trigger you just for you to see them so they can be released because you have received these codes. So allow them, allow them in. They push up and push out anything that is not that. Um, you need to drink a lot of water to help those become embodied um, listen to your body as to what it needs to integrate those whether that's meditation whether that's a warm bath whether that's eating certain foods um, or resting or sleeping or journaling yeah stepping back now blessings everybody